Alright, welcome everyone. I am going to try to start out a little gaming session here with Power World. I hope you all are doing well, and please like, subscribe, or leave a comment if you have any questions or any uh, advice. Um, I'm new to streaming a little bit, so it's going to take me some time to get used to it, as all streamers, you know, just kind of go off and be able to go straight off the bat. Now, there's the start cutoff scene. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Now, my accent is a little bit weird. I'm American and I live in the UK so I definitely have a bit of a shall we say a mix of accents with that because sometimes I just come out with British words and sometimes I come out with American and I can't help it because I've lived in two places but you know what it makes my life more interesting if you ask me I don't mind it at all now, at first, what you're going to want to do is collect some wood. Honestly, you ain't got to talk to that guy. Well, yeah. He, he really doesn't give you but two wood. You pick that up anytime you pick up wood anyway. And yeah, fall damage is a thing. But you heal pretty quickly. and it, As long as you don't fall too far, you're okay. Now, there is a journal page for each of these little cards you pick up. Castaway's Journal Day 2. That was actually a really good chest. We got some arrows. Uh, was that Mega Spear? Oh, wow. That was a Mega Spear this early in the game. Wow. Super lucky. Now, I do have a few mods on, and they are only to involve high, higher weight capacity. A few more points whenever you level up. Um, also, max level is 100, not 50. Uh, no spoil on food because it's a game, not the real world. So I, I, I play games to be not as realistic as the real world. I mean, everyone has their opinions on that, of course. And with that level up, we can unlock the PAL box and the PAL sphere, campfire, wood chest, repair bench, and wooden structure. And what we're going to want to do is get to the bottom of this hill. Well, what, what we're going to do is go ahead and put that into health. Um, when you get to the bottom of this hill, you want we're going to make a base. A small little temporary holding, as you would call it. And we're going to get ourselves going on to being able to do some more things with that. I mean, we needed to be able to pick up all this off the ground in order to do that. Because otherwise we would have to hammer and fist all these rocks and wood. And it's just not worth it to try to fist it. Because it's going to take a while. I mean, you get to stone and two wood picking them up off the ground it's not that hard until you get an axe a proper axe and pickaxe anyway which you can do as soon as you build the primitive workbench but you don't want to do that too soon I mean you can like I could go ahead and build it right now what I could do right after building it is destroy it later because what I can do now is I can make some pal spheres most well most importantly let's get an axe because we're gonna need an axe we need wood more than we need stone at the moment and once we have an axe we need a pickaxe at least we have enough for that I believe we are running low though yes we are only two pallium fragments but at least and say now we can just destroy it escape be done with it actually you know 
scratch everything I said earlier, this would be the best way to do that. Just go ahead and make yourself a little bench and pick up some wood and fiber and stone and ore and palladium fragments all along the way till you find a place you build. That was way better than the way I've been trying to think about it. Because honestly, I've just been thinking, you know, make a temp fort and start from there, be able to build up our way from nothing. But, in all reality, you don't need a temp fort at the beginning. Because you can. Like, I like to build a base. I know this is a. Oh, I also have a mini mod. Mini map mod. I've already beat the game once, so I'd rather not have to find everything again through darkness. But anyway, I'd rather make a base right at the desolate church because right here, or right along here somewhere, there is a spot of ore. And honestly, that's going to be the tent base. That would be a lot better of a tent base for a start out. We want that pangolet. Come here. I will hit you with an axe. I don't even care. Oop, oop. Need to watch out. Need to watch out. He can freeze me and that wouldn't be good. But he's level 6. This one might be worth it. Ah, crap. Don't let yourself run out of stamina. That That's not, that's not easy. Oh gosh, this is going to be harder than I thought. I would think a pickaxe was doing more damage too, and you're kidding me. I let him freeze me. Alright. Let's try it. Yeah, a pickaxe was doing more damage. No, it was because I was hitting him in the head. Hit the ha ha Use the trees as hiding. Ha 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 ha. Perfect. Ah, the pickaxe is easier to hit him though. Easier to hit him with a crit anyway. Oh. I want to change to a regular pal sphere. I don't want to waste a mega sphere for this. Now the mega spheres are for pals that are level 10 and higher. That's the ones they're mainly for. Ooh. So using trees for cover is actually a really good idea whenever you're not got any equipment and you're just trying to get your first pal. Uh, I clicked the wrong. Ah. You know what? It, it'll be alright. We'll get more later. We got our first pal though. That is perfect news. Now we leave him in our inventory. Or not out anyway. And he'll just heal. Pretty much. So we're going to let him heal to full health. Before we actually send him out to even help us. But. He's going to be good. Like what What does he have? As pa he doesn't have any passives. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, he'll be good to keep with me then. Now I will catch one for the base too because base priority. But we want to be able to make sure that we can do everything efficiently and you know just be able to get ourselves going. I'm gonna go ahead and mine up this whole stone and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep running down here. Now what's really nice about this game is the inventory system isn't that bad. Honestly, for an early access game, I am so shocked at how well this runs. This puts a new standard on the whole industry of early access games. With how buggy we've had early access games come out, like I mean, there's big examples. I just don't want to get demonetized. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to send you out. And apparently, he makes us cold just by having him out because we don't have any clothing on. And that's right, because your pals do heat you up or cool you down, depending on what scenario you're going with. And I would catch a fox parts, but... I'm not going to risk fighting all three of them at once. Not with Pangolet at level three and or 
he's so the reason he's level three instead of level six is because I'm only level three. I have to get to level six and then he'll be level six as well. That's all right. Because we will grow and level over time. We don't want to get too fast up in there anyway. I mean, the max is 100, but... Now, I did that because I, I've i always just played games with a max of 99 or 100. And, like, I didn't see a point to maxing at level 50. Some people might. I mean, to each their own. But I didn't. And I've got some, alright, we got some health, and we're going to get some attack. Now that we're at 2,000 health, 25,000 weight, we're going to focus attack and stamina, because we want to be able to run further, and we want to be able to do more damage. Now also, I was just going to run over here, because there's a bunch of red berries, and we want a good amount of them to start out with, just because it's a good food source for beginning game I mean you get like 16 out of a small patch 16 20 we get 24 total out of a small patch that is honestly amazing really good food source for early game because you got to keep yourself and your pals fed so you got to keep that in mind And I think the now going that way will take us to chill it. Yeah, I thought so. What we could do is we could go past the syndicate tower, hang a left, and go up to the spot I'm talking about and build our little temp hut. Well, I guess it won't be a temp hut. That's going to be our ore base. But I start out with the ore base because... Honestly, it'd be... Are you kidding me? Is that rock that you actually have to... That is actually stone that you have to... I'm wondering if that's a glitch in the ground. Yeah, it is a glitch in the ground. <laughs> that's funny. Alright. But, um... Yeah, if we just hit this waypoint, go past the Rains Tower, because there's no way we can take on Grizzbolt at the moment. I mean, he's the weakest boss, and he only has 100,000 health, but that's still 100,000 health, and we've got a level 3 pangolin and a pickaxe. I mean, we ain't gonna be able to do much against him. And for now, we're not really trying to fight anything, because we don't even have a spear or anything to fight with. But we will get there just shortly, because we're just picking up everything and getting a waypoint. Now, this is also a dungeon. Hillside Cavern, level 13. And we're not going to go in there because, I mean, we have a pickaxe and everything to be able to get that stuff. But you will be attacked in there. Uh, oh, we said we were going to hang a left and go up, weren't we? But you will be attacked the moment you go into a dungeon and actually go through the door inside the dungeon. Ah, you got to be kidding me. Right, so here's what we're going to try to do. Yeah, I have enough health, I can do that. And we're just going to climb this, because I really don't feel like finding a route around. Now you guys can choose all your uh, options and stuff. I mean, you don't have to do this ridiculous climb. But, you know what, it would be easier for the spot we want to get to today. That's a nice waterfall over there, and the water really looks pretty decent. Now, it's not anything to scock at, because you can't actually go in the water. There's nothing in there. It's like a desolate ocean. But, to be fair, the it is an early access game that did a lot well other than that. I believe this isn't a bad spot to build an actual base, you know? Flat surface. I mean, yeah, we gotta deal with these guys, but whatever. They're low enough level and 
We can hit all three at once. <laughs> Line up in a row, boys. This makes it easier and fun. Oh, they're dropping pal spears. Handy. Yeah, I forgot what they dropped, to be honest. It's been a while. Ooh, but that's handy. Now I've got ten pal spears. We got enough to start catching some other things. But I'm just trying to get at least our temp set up. Or, or base going, as I call it. And go past all these flocks. What the flock do you want? Yeah, look over there. <laughs> These guys look funny as they're running. <laughs> Waddling side to side like a little duck. Ooh, that's my next capture I really want though. Lift Monk. He is handy too. Like super handy. Problem is he's a fast little shit. Oops. I try not to cuss too much. And don't want to get the, my channel to sound like I'm one of them kind of people alright so yes here is the place I was talking about we're gonna place our pal box down here and this is the ore yeah actually you know what send out pangolet build that we're one two three four five six seven eight or nodes here. Eight or nodes is a really good amount to get going with. And we're going to go ahead and put Pangolet in the base so that he can go ahead and start doing some things like build that campfire. We're going to place their beds over here for now. I mean, we'll set up everything in a more permanent spot later. But for now, we just want to get things going. And our biggest challenge was really getting the base. Now, it'll actually be smoother sailing. Since we have the base, we can go ahead and start doing things like upgrading the base and getting more pals. And I'm going to go ahead and put a workbench down. And see what I need to do to do the berry plantation. I believe I need another level. Yeah. I need another level. It's alright though. Alright, so we're going to build that wooden chest. And we're going to build that. So you want to space things out just a little bit. You don't want too close together because otherwise you're going to be tapping or I had issues with this in my last playthrough if you put the like chest too close to the campfire you're going to be constantly either clicking the campfire or clicking the chest or it won't show you option for either so you want to kind of space them out a little bit just to give yourself a breather space and be able to work around that and seeds will go in there, but we need a feed box so that we can put down the other stuff. So we're going to want a repair bench, and we're going to want at least two primitive workbenches to start off with. Because one's going to be making arrows for you, and one's going to be making other stuff. Or spears, or anything, you know. Alright, so base upgrade. And we have a visitor apparently. I will have to go see who that is. But for now, we need a weapon. And if it's a traitor, I'm going to try to catch him. I know it's probably not going to happen because it's really hard at the beginning but it is possible so anything's possible let's try Ooh. now what is that that sounded like squawking 
Who even knows? Ooh, see, 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 that is exactly what I was talking about. Traveling merchant. Now, what we want to do is we want to get arrows going. Just, no, first let's get the stone spear and then get the arrows going. Alright, give me my spear. I'm going to go after him. So, the reason I'm going for the merchant instead of just trading him is because honestly I can just catch him yeah catch rate of 16% oh come on this is gonna be difficult and with pangolet doing crap around me I hope now hopefully we can get it we got six pal spears let's do this come on I know you don't like the pal spears but come on now, if you have like a mega sphere or something, it would be easier. But now that it's done its second wiggle, it should be a little bit easier to catch him. Yes! Oh, that is amazing. So, the reason you want to catch him, you can put him in your base. And now, he's got goods. I can buy and sell from him and do all kinds of things. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for just taking the ball. Yeah, you can use the bed. And I'll make another bed. Because I wasn't expecting to catch anything right at this moment. But hey, we just got ourselves our first merchant. Let's go. That's amazing news. And no, they are not good pals to take around and adventure with. But they are good pals to keep at the base and be able to trade that's all they're really useful for is trading now we're gonna try to get this going probably build you know what would probably be best we build a little platform and then stairs all around so we're gonna have to move the campfire that's fine no nope, we're also gonna have to move that chest that is fine we will be moving it anyway that was the whole plan I don't believe we yeah we don't have to move the tree but this is where we're gonna put our chests Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Ten wood. Yay. Alright. Out. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to scat Mac the foundation there. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Now, he's only gonna be good for handiwork, I believe. And laboring? Or just handiwork? What do they do? Yeah, they only do handiwork. So he's only good for that. But, oh, now I can take everything out of this chest, destroy this chest, move this chest, and place the stair, I believe. And you don't want to place your chest too close together either, because otherwise you'll have the same issue I was just talking about with the um, fireplace. And you can't be in, inside the build or it won't build either in its parameter anyway so that will be that we still need a level up though and the reason we need to get to level 5 ooh it's only 10 you gotta be kidding me we're almost leveled up cause we need to be able to make the berry plantation and the feed box for them to I've already broke my see it's good we made the repair bench I already think it and R repairs all as long as you've got the stuff in your inventory to repair everything you can do it and I believe that is our level alright now we can add some stamina because we're tired of running out of that so quickly. 
feed box. Um, we're going to go with the berry plantation and the ranch because I'm going to go catch a Vixie, I believe it's called. We'll have to check on that. And campfire, we'll just go ahead and place that baby right there. That'll be fine. It's cold, we need something to keep us warm. But I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. And I hope you guys enjoyed and are having a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.